Hi, it's Sophie from Zero's Real Thoughts, and today I'm going to be reviewing Noah Baumbach's new film, Francis Ha. Francis Ha it was co-written by Noah Baumbach and its main star, Greta Gerwig. Shot entirely in black and white, the story is a modern coming-of-age tale and a story about love. Francis is a 27-year-old dancer living with her best friend, Sophie, played by Mickey Sumner. But when Sophie decides to move out to live with another friend, Francis' life kind of takes a turn for the worst. I found this movie pleasantly surprising to be because it was so light and fun. Uh, no bomb matches previous films like The Squid and the Whale, Margot at the Wedding, and especially Greenberg showcases characters who are grotesque in personality-wise, and it was um, it was not like that. Usually his films are really bleak and they have this like morose overtone, but Francis Ha was so full of life and exuberant and you even loved Francis even though there were times where she was just incredibly frustrating to watch and you felt sorry for her but she was such an extremely likable character that you couldn't help but forgive her for everything. I describe this as a coming of age tale but it, in reality it probably is just a love story. When Sophie moves out of Francis' life, Francis' life kind of becomes a mess as she tries to figure out what it really takes to become an adult. It seemed like her life kept digressing and digressing while everyone around her were progressing and, you know, taking responsibility, paying bills, getting married, whatever adults do. Um, and then at the, re at the end, I realized her downfall was also the result of her breakup. Her trying to figure out who she was and grieving at the same time. And as soon as I found that out, I just got so giddy to witness and see such a strong and um, real representation of female friendship. Yes, we talk and tell each other everything, go to the bathroom together, and we can talk to each other for five hours on the phone and not be sick of each other. And I feel like that's completely normal. No Bombetch, Greta Gerwig, and Mickey Sumner came and did a Q&A after the film. And Greta and Mickey looked as if they were going to the Oscars. They were in these elegant dresses and were just jaw-droppingly beautiful. The film takes on a very naturalistic performance and when asked if it was all improv, they, they told us that everything we see is probably a take 38 and um, everything was according to the screenplay. When asked about why he shot in black and white, Noah just responded that it just created a mood and a fit and I read somewhere that it, um, it almost wanted to emulate Woody Allen's Manhattan which was also shot in black and white but regardless of what it was, it fit, it worked, it, I loved it. Um, it's just, it was just so different from everything he's done and um, mostly when people already cement their kind of niche or their kind of style, they kind of go along with that, but he really surprised me and everyone um, with this, it was just so light, it was really fun, and I'm glad that he did something like this, contrary to all of his other films, so, um, you know, I first loved to, first, he first caught my eye when I saw The Squid and the Whale, because I never knew a filmmaker could make me feel as uncomfortable as he did when I saw the film and I hope everyone knows what scene I'm talking about because I I know I looked around me and I was like oh my god like why do I feel like this and um, it was great and I really love him for that for making me feel as uncomfortable and you know um, just making me feel I guess and um, I hope everyone goes and watches this and it's, it's so relatable it's it, even though it is about a female there is a female protagonist. It is so universally relatable. Um, and I really think I like Greta so much more after this. I, I liked her in Greenberg, but this is really, I really love her now. <laughs> so anyway, go and watch it. Thanks for listening. Bye.